We often see businesses that try to shoehorn themselves into the tech startup mold because they know those are the kind of companies that we invest in. It's important to remember though that serious investors always undergo a deep due diligence process. So it's not in anyone's best interest to try and squeeze a business into a category where it simply isn't a fit. Even more importantly, understanding exactly how the tech term actually applies or does not apply to your business is one of the keys to setting yourself up for long-term success. When it comes to the businesses we see, we think of the technology as a spectrum. At one side are technology startups who are in the actual business of selling technology to generate revenue. In the middle are technology-enabled startups. These are companies that leverage software technology to sell a product or service but they don't actually sell technology. At the other end are lifestyle businesses who probably use basic technology like email, but don't sell technology or leverage it heavily to sell their products. Where you fit in the spectrum can be important to investors, but what's really important is that you are honest about who you are so you can focus on finding the right fit with others who play in your space. Most investors, including Jumpstart, have some criteria for what they typically invest in. That's why it's always a good idea for entrepreneurs to do a little due diligence of their own before engaging with investors and ask themselves if their business is really a fit before they apply. You can find our criteria and more information about Jumpstart on our website, jumpstartinc.org.